All right, guys. Um, Adam Steele here, back at the Warehouse Gym here in San Diego, California. Um, thank you for checking out this episode of the Docti Series to the War Machines. Uh, yet again, here we are, number 12, the Lat Lowrider. So, the Lowrider is a Lat Low Row, and I have creating a, a new dynamic system, not crazy uh, novelty as far as like overall low row construction design of the machine. But what I wanted to do was come up with something that was more dynamic from all the models of force that are out there that I've seen and used. And that's kind of what I do. I just want to make things better. If I can completely, you know, reinvent the wheel, then that's what we do as far as improving. Maybe it needs to fly. I don't know. Anyway, with this, I created a four bearing double barrel uh, system for the rotary handle. And uh, we'll show you right here on the V-reel um, exactly how that looks and how it may, uh, mechanically functions to just give what we've had so far just today by leaving it on the floor for 15 minutes, the smoothest, cleanest, uh, best hitting low row machine that the folks here have ever felt from any gym there is. So that was really exciting. Um, immediate feedback was awesome. The seat, you know, super adjustable. Again, the Cordura with the upholstery foam was making it an amazing experience as far as like going heavy and having that weight, you know, against your chest to where whether you're male or female, you uh, can really feel comfortable. You know, just because we know there are only two genders. Anyway. <laughs> so with that being said, it wanted to make comfortable. The seat not only pivots up and down with a high selection, but you can pull the pin in the arm and we'll show you right here can then also pitch forward at a slight angle and you can also set it back depending on your height, length of your arms and a couple things. And so definitely check out the link here for how to use the lat low rider, uh, low row, row pole and uh, here on the warmest shoes. So check it out. Um, coming up with this one was fun. It was exciting, I guess, mild milestone for me. This is my 12th war machine. I have designed a dozen custom, new, innovative strengths, equipment machines, uh, single-handedly. Yeah. And, uh, but before I get too carried away on boasting single-handedly, I have to thank everyone that has participated. Miguel, um, our media ran awareness team and one man army. I have to thank Chris Benna, like, just coming up fast on the welding and being an amazing apprentice and making sure cuts are clean. The job is done and it helps me be able to create what I need to for you guys as far as these war machines. I'm not planning on stopping. I have a few more models already ready to go. I want to thank Mel, GM, partner here at the Warhouse Gyms, the super badass keeping the ship running. And I want to thank every single one of you that likes this, watches, subscribes, and all of my members of the Warhouse for trying these bad boys out and just really falling in love with them and helping me to become a better at building machines, as well as, you know, trying to build all your requests as fast as I can. So thank you, honestly, you guys. Um, it's amazing. I'm happy to do it, and I don't plan on stopping. So let's fucking send it. Boom, war machines. I don't know. That was a terrible outro. Let's do it. <laughs>